Table Tech Rage, Table Tech Sight, and Portable Table Device, which can recharge itself. So you would spawn in the tables, you'd get the, the offensive and defensive bonus of the tables, and then you could spawn in more tables. You know what? That... What did I say? I said I, I like the runs that kind of change how you play the game. That's a run that it seems like it would change how you would play the game. So why don't we give it a shot here? And I will be the... I'll be the Marine. I'll be Marine Marine. Because the Marine starts with a pretty good starting pistol weapon, and maybe we can actually make this run work only using the starting pistol. So let's do it. Let's do the table run. Brought to you by G4 Ret Jax. <laughs> I'm trying to think if, if that's supposed to be something. Oh, Garrett. Garrett Jax. Yeah, the four is an eight. Gotcha. So, um, give portable. Portable turret. No, portable table device. Give table tech rage. Give table tech sight. So we spawn tables, we get an offensive multi multiplier from the tables, we get the defense of the tables, and... And then what? <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll start the run and we'll see what happens later. We'll see if we want to give ourselves more items, but... You know, so, I mean, we can use existing tables too. We get this slow motion effect whenever we pop the table. I like kind of opening a room with, oh, we wasted a table. I kind of like opening up a room with the table flip. But you only get three, and then you have to wait for the charge to come back, which might take a moment. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. There are other table techs, but I think that like a table tech blank, table tech stun might be too strong. Because with those items... With those items, you know, you're going to be outputting too much damage, I think. And you're going to be stunning all of the enemies that you can just, you know, spawn all the tables, flip them one at a time. broke my fucking table. That gar that asshole broke my table. You know, I like that you still have to, you know, dodge and not get shot. Table tech money would give you more. A table tech money would make it so that when you flip a table, you flip over all tables. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does anyone have a link to the Discord? Oh, you want a link to the Discord, don't you? Well, there you go. There's a link to the Discord. Table tech money would work, wouldn't it? Give table tech money. Because the table tech money would mean that you can't just like spam the tables and then use them one at a time. You'd have to use them one at a time when you create the tables. Because it flips all tables over in the room. It works. So when there's tables existing in the room, maybe you want to use those or something, you know? Although, Table Tech Rocket, no. I hate Table Tech. If Table Tech Rocket didn't hurt you, I would say yes, because... I think this still works. I'm pretty sure Table Tech Rocket causes you to take damage, so it's not a good item. An item like this, here's the thing, I would never force a player to take an item that would hurt them. I'll, I'll force, I'll, I would, for, I would force players to take items that make it difficult, but I would not force players to take an item that would literally hurt them. Like Table Tech Rocket does. It's, it's a garbage item. I do not like it. kind of works. I forgot he did contact damage. <laughs> I thought I was just going to kill him when he walked into me. Excuse me? 
I guess by giving myself the item, it doesn't remove it from the item pools because that's table tech site sitting on the table. Weird. Yeah, like table tech rocket, table tech money. If you combine those, it's gonna flip over all the tables in a room. They're all gonna move and explode. And a table that's just out of your line of sight could cause you to take damage because it just hurts you. So something that I, I wouldn't necessarily like. You know, it's something that I definitely wouldn't like to have on a run myself. I'm not gonna force players to take that. And yeah, the idea is, is well, the idea kind of is to maybe have um, challenge runs in, in Gungeon that you can kind of mod in or create. And this would be one of them. You could even hard code special things in the game that would make the, the run work properly. There we go, one's dead. It's kind of working. Flip it, flip it! There might be a way of cheesing the system though. Because if you if you spawn in three tables and then you flip them, you get prolonged slow motion and prolonged extra damage. Which might not, what that might not be what I want. You know what would be ideal? If I could force this item to have only one charge. If I could force it to only have one charge, then you couldn't stack up the tables. Well, I guess you technically could. There's a synergy that makes the tables home after activating Table Tech Rocket. It's the RPG, I think, and it doesn't work. Or at least, at, le at least I, um... You believe the portable tables blank nearby bullets when they are destroyed? I seem to recall noticing that one. All tables do that. Um, but yeah, there, there's an, a synergy in the game. Uh, is it the RPG? No, it must be the Commando. Com, 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 Fondo. Oh God. C O N C O M four N D zero. No, C C O M C O M four N D zero. You could just call it the Commando. You don't have to give it the freak fucked up spelling. Oh, I glitched out the uh, thing. It's Table Tech Rocket, I can't give myself Table Tech Rocket anymore. Well, I can't test out the synergy, but uh, last time I tried that synergy, it never worked. Like, I would fire off, I would flip over a table and it just wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't home in on the enemies at all. So, I don't know, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it was because I was in co-op and it didn't work in co-op or something like that. But whenever I've tried that synergy with the Table Rocket Commando and they would home in, or RPG Commando, or R no, RPG Table Tech Rocket, and they would home in on enemies, it didn't work. Didn't work. But in any case, I mean, yeah, maybe it does work and it just didn't work in my case, or maybe I was an idiot. In any case, you do not have the capability of testing that right now, because I I lost the console. <laughs> what happens is if, um, so in the, in the mod the Gungeon console, there is an autocomplete. If you hit tab, it will attempt to autocomplete text for you. If you hit tab on an empty line, it breaks the command console and you can't use it again until you restart the game. So I broke the command console. Um, which sucks, but I knew it would happen. I did it anyways. I don't know, this run is interesting. It's nice having the portable table device to kind of play around with it and test it out, because normally I don't have this item. But it seems strong. You know, because you get the time slow down, you get the extra damage, enemies are dying super quickly. Um, this might be one of those runs where it's best to maybe even um, remove a couple of the items, like remove Table Tech Sight, so you get Rage, but not the, the triple shot. Or maybe you can make it so that you can use other guns, but you can still only have the um, portable table device or something. I don't know. Because it, it just, it seems strong right now. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, in Isaac, in the challenge runs in Isaac, there are a lot of very strong challenges. Tables! 
you know, uh, you start with Polyphemus, 100 damage, a giant Dorito, and the damage output that you can do is incredible, you know? It happens. You know, you start with, um... Tables, tables! You start with, um, technology and technology 2 and homing shots. Reload, you piece of garbage! But on the boss fights, like, it's actually... It does seem kind of balanced, so far anyways. Shit. You know, if you, if you miss flipping over a table, you gotta go back for it. <laughs> But still, you get a lot of coverage, you get a lot of extra damage, you get the time slow down. I don't know. I, I really like the idea of this challenge. I think it just needs to be balanced a little bit, and I don't know how to balance it right now. Maybe drop? Maybe I should drop, like, Table Tech Sight or something. Save button, restarting the game would fix the console. Eh, I don't really care that much. I was just gonna test Table Tech Rocket, but we don't need to test it. Either it works for you or it doesn't, and, you know, I can always test it out later. I was just curious, in the moment. I guess I was also curious how it would kind of interact with this run, with this kind of weird challenge run that we've got going on here. I wonder... I, I want to test something. I want to kill one of these guys. I want to test if flipping a table will break the turret. No, it doesn't. Okay. I mean, I took I took some damage there. That's fine. You know, I just wanted to test that out. Why would it break the turret? You want to know what I was thinking? I'll tell you what I was thinking. Also, Carl Lossick, thank you for the follow. I was thinking, when you flip a table, it breaks bullets around it. What also breaks bullets around it? Mmm, explosions. What do the explosions also break? The minecarts. The minecart turrets. Ergo, it's possible that a table flip would destroy a minecart turret. <laughs> now that's a lot of leaps in logic there, but you know what? That's why, that's why you gotta, you gotta practice some science every once in a while. You gotta have a hypothesis and test it out. <laughs> oh god. It's like um one of those old murder mysteries or uh, investigative shows and it's like you have to make insane jumps in your logic in order to go from point A to point B to point Z. It's like and then I realized that the uh, there's a marsupial in Australia that eats its own young, and then I realize she must have been the murderer. Drop the device and add all of the other texts. A red shotgunner fired the blue one's pattern? Hmm. That's interesting, if true. I didn't actually mean to flip that. I didn't think I hit E, but maybe I did. I'm, I'm conditioning myself to hit space E because as soon as you press space, you can flip over the table. So it's kind of like space E, and then you get the time slowdown, you get the invincibility from flipping over a table, you get the rage. And really, I'm just trying to, uh, Trying to just get as many charges as I can on this on this portable table device. Kevin Space plus E. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. There needs to be an item that's a, a table flip item that when you flip a table you reload instantly. Because then then you could also use the tables in order to um, to instantly reload your gun, so you can flip a table and then immediately start getting the benefit from it. 
I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I'm kind of spitballing here. Spitballing! What the hell does that mean? Like, I know what it means. It means you're just kind of, you're talking. You know, you're just kind of throwing out ideas to see what happens with them. Where does that phrase come from? Spitballing. I'm just spitballing here. Maybe it comes from someone who, who spits a lot when they talk, and it's like, ah, oh, you're just, you're spitting up all over. And it's like, yeah, I'm just spitballing here. I'm just talking. You know, nothing wrong with that, is there? Maybe technically not, but you could do like, you know, put down a, a rag first before you open your gob. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find the boss fight, and I'm just fighting all the chests instead. I guess isn't that much of a bad bad thing, but... Just spitball in here. I mean, that, that's why I gave myself Table Tech money, it's, is because it does make it slightly harder. Because I don't want... I wouldn't want people to be able to just, like, spawn all the tables and then flip them one at a time, because as soon as you spawn the tables, you can start charging the item again. You don't have to use the tables before you can start charging it again. So I'm thinking what could happen is that you could just, you know, put all the tables down, start recharging the tables, and then flip them one at a time for the invincibility and the slowdown. But I like people kind of being in a dangerous position for a little bit of time. And it's it's kind of, it's not really like having um it's not really like having super hot watch. Because it's not like you can be, you know, in slowdown permanently. But it's like having a reusable bullet time. Pre AG and D bullet time that didn't actually give you all of the slow motion in the world. Stop that. I don't know, something about this combination, it tickles me the right way. I'd love to see this kind of, as a uh, challenge, run. You know what? I think I heard him, I heard him with the blank. <laughs> I love when that happens. Cause he's invisible, but he still has a hitbox to AOE effects. Okay. Portable table device. Still working. I'm, I'm skipping all the rat stuff, by the way, because I want to just... I want to see how the other floors handle, you know? I don't want to spend all my time fighting the rat, doing the Dragon 2.0. I can imagine that'll be a difficult fight. I just want to... I want, I want to make some progress, you know? I want to do the run, and I want to have another data point. For, is this a fun run? It kind of is. I like it. I'm glad I, I chose the Marine. Wow, there's plenty of tables here. The Marine is a good character. He's got a good starting gun. Now that'll be a true test. There's a mini boss in that room, and we know it's gonna be Bomber Boy. Because Bomber Boy, I think, is the only one that can actually uh, appear on the minimap. I think, I, I think that's correct. All the tables are being destroyed. Oh, I need to get a charge. Where's my table charge? See, this is kind of the situation that I, I want players to get into if they were doing this, this for themselves, is that you get into a situation where it's like, I'm out of tables. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to be careful now, <laughs> you know? Like, oh shit, I, I used my tables in, incorrectly. Which I think adds to it a little bit, you know? You gotta manage your resources a little bit. I gotcha, I gotcha, you fool! I got tables, oh. Cause like, most of your damage comes from the table flip. You know, you get the rage, you get the triple shot. Without having a table available, you are, you're gonna be in for a hard time. 
So you know, when you have the table flip, you should probably just try to do like as much damage as possible. Hey. I think it would be cool if people could still pick up like passive items. Can you fall into a pit? You cannot fall into a pit. Good to know. There would just be like maybe no gun drops or maybe no active item drops or something. I know you're getting buffed, man, but look. I got other things to deal with right now. And you know what? Having, a, you know, the, the used tables on the ground might make it a little bit harder to dodge sometimes because you have to deal with the, the table corpses that you left behind. Oh, that's how you can do it. That's how you can do it. You can activate the table tech money flip and then you can spawn your last remaining table and then you start charging your tables. <gasps> Which I don't think that's that's an, an oversight. I think that's just, you know, using the mechanics of the game to help you out a little bit, you know? You can't just, like, spawn a million tables, but you can get one extra table out. Mmm. Yes, I like it. And you know what? It is getting harder. That is true. Which I like. I like that it is getting, you know, more difficult as time goes on. We're not getting stronger, necessarily. We're actually getting, you know, weaker. Unless... Again, unless, you know, the run was such that you could keep picking up passive items or something. So let's go fight the mini boss. Let's see what happens. Using my new gained knowledge of being able to drop a table. So here's how we do it. Space E, space. It flipped the table still! I guess table tech money was still, like, active or something. That's... Bullshit. I got plenty of tables to hide behind. That's something, right? Oh, uh, okay. I'm out of tables, though. I think one of them... Oh, what is the- oh, I got stuck on a table! That which, uh... Oh, he pushed me off the edge! These guys suck, dude. When you have a freaking starting weapon. They're, they're also not making any sounds, which is kind of a little bit awkward. <laughs> okay, come. Okay, we got tables? Tables? We got tables. And you know what? I used the table to stop one of these guys from spawning. Okay, you know what? That was tough, but this is a, a tough mini boss anyway, so I think it I think it was fine. You gotta find the right timing for when to flip over that second table there. So I guess you can't really trick out that uh, that last table. Not as much as I thought you maybe could. Support ticket. Thank you for the follow. I have a friend who, every winter they vacation, well basically every winter, they vacation in Colorado because their family lives there. She was telling me how she used to be able to get uh, like skiing tickets for the season on the cheap because she would go up in like late January, February when everyone's you know done with their vacations because everyone's taking their vacations in you know December and January. Um, but she hasn't been able to get good prices on on tickets for the season because they've extended their on season until like March. So, you know, she has to pay full price, like, all year. And it doesn't matter if you're a Colorado resident or not. It's just expensive as hell. I've never actually gone skiing. I'll take it for the coolness. I've never actually gone skiing, but I would... 
I'd like to go skiing at some point. I'd like to learn. It's something that I've always kind of regretted doing. Or not doing, I should say. I hate that this guy fires bullets through the walls. Just gonna put that out there. <laughs> Wish I had a, a table flip available. No! He summoned. He summoned! I like that I'm, you know, starting to take some damage on the run, but it is kind of just like, well, I'm still using the starter pistol. You know, there's probably a way of balancing it out so that I could be using another gun. You know, hell, maybe maybe passives could count. You know, maybe I can I can use passive items if we come across them. But you still have to use the starting pistol. Maybe you could use other weapons too. Maybe it would just be like a blessed mode run. So you just get like random guns or something. I don't know. Again, that's why we're playing. That's why we are uh, testing out new challenges for the hell of it, and also just to see how they work. See if there are any, any good ideas out there in the world. Hmm. How would you make it so that you could get stronger as time goes on, but not get too strong? Uh, you know what it is? I just realized something else. So part of the reason why it feels like I'm getting uh, weaker over time is because I actually am. So the game has active items, and active items require you to recharge them before you can use them again. But you recharge your active items by dealing damage, and the amount of charge increases every floor. So it's actually, it's taking me longer to get my charge back on this floor than it was on the earlier floors of the game. So that's why it feels like it's getting harder because it is. It's taking me longer to, to get my tables back. That's what the problem is. That's why it feels like I'm, I'm constantly running out of tables and not able to, to use them because I am. I'm constantly running out of tables because I'm not being, I'm not able to charge them anymore. So that would definitely be something I think that if you were trying to make this a a challenge run, you would have to kind of find some way around. You say the bullet upgrades were all, always allowed, but I wanted to see what the run would be like without them, you know? <gasps> Can I get him stuck behind the table? I think he just ran over the table. <laughs> I like the time slow. I didn't flip it. Ah, I got it. Oh shit. Yeah, so if you if you put a table inside of him, it looks like he just doesn't care and he just rolls right over the table. Good to know. But you can see like I'm I'm spending a lot of time shooting this guy and I'm not getting any table charges back. Uh we, we can kill him before he crushes us. but it does take a while to get your table charge back. And that table, when you flip the table and when the tables break, they do break bullets in a, in a slight AOE, which is helpful. I mean, that wasn't that bad. You know, we did a lot of, a lot of damage, but again, we, we need some way of, char of getting the tables back. Being able to recharge the table item a little bit more on the regular. On the regular. Ah, uh, there's probably HP in the shop. Before we leave, we should look. There isn't. Lovely. Ice cube. How would that work? No, ice cube wouldn't work, I don't think. Ice, Ice Cube might work, but if it works the way I'm thinking it does, either it does A, nothing, or B, well, okay, it, it either does A, nothing, B, it just gives you um, a higher base charge when, when you get more coolness, which is probably not ideal, or C, it allows you to hold extra table charges. So instead of having basically like three table charges, you could have like six table charges max or something like that, which is not what I would want. I would not want the player to, to have infinite tables, basically. So I don't think I don't think Ice Cube is the way to go. 
Because either either it doesn't do anything or does the wrong thing. And yeah, you know, if you give yourself extra coolness in general, you will get more uh, more of a charge back on your items. Wait, didn't I take? I even took old Goldie. Oh, but old Goldie only gives you the coolness when you use it, I think? Can't remember. Why am I not flipping tables? This is the table run. <laughs> I'm like, I'll kill him with my starting gun. Well, yeah, but you can flip tables. Cigarettes. I mean, early game, you can just stack up 10 coolness and you don't need any more coolness than that, so uh, no. Cigarettes isn't the way to go about it about it either. I think the way to go about it about it is to just make it so that the the portable table device has the same charge every floor. I think that's the way to go about it. But I don't know. This is one of those things that it would require a little bit of uh, balancing and consideration. Maybe make it so that every boss you kill gives you one maximum table charge, and then the item can can start with one charge, and then it can get up to like max of five charges. Uh, but uh, the thing is, you would still find yourself in a time when you have no table charges available. Hmm. It's a tricky one. It's tricky to figure out the balancing of something like this, of something that is a, kind of like a new mechanic that you're considering, or a new challenge run that you're considering. Maybe you could just make it so that players can, can use any gun that they find. Because they'd still have to manage their tables and not get hit, but you know, they can use a better gun and get more damage output. More damage output means more charges. Oh, no! I missed the flipping the table! That seems to happen every once in a while. I just accidentally don't flip the table. Gotta kill Shellaman. Shellaman is dead. Yeah, I mean, no active items because you have to hold a portable table. Definitely. Also, this room sucks! <laughs> and I got no tables! But I must flip something! So you get into situations like this where, you know, I have to basically kill the entire room without tables in order to get the table charge back. There we go. And now that I have the table charge, it's like everything dies super quickly. It's got to be a good way of balancing it, but I don't know. TBD. Get out of here, big boy. Stop it! <laughs> At least on bosses, you know, there's just one enemy in your face. On rooms with tables, usually it seems like you can get your table charge back pretty quickly, you know? Because you can output a lot of damage with, uh, with the Table Tech Rage plus Sight combo. Shit. I even had the table. I should have just used it. Uh, maybe, um, maybe table tech money is not the way to go about it. You know, maybe you should allow the player to be able to spawn in multiple tables as backup tables. 
but that doesn't stop them from, you know, getting into that position in the first place where they just have no tables at their disposal. This is not even the right way to go. What's the right way to go? Probably gonna be up here, let's be honest. Down and then left, yeah. Of course, I walked into the room without any tables, so it's gonna be tough. It's basically just like, run around, kill things, you'll get your table charge eventually. And then when you do, you can actually kill stuff. Oh, thank God. Because even if it's just, even if it's not table tech sight, the table tech rage doubles, triples your damage output, something like that. Ah, I thought there'd be more. This is the one guy. Ah, oh, but there's tables. We're saved from ourselves, there's tables. I trapped that enemy inside of a table. Must suck to be him. <laughs> Any room that has tables already in it is a freaking godsend. Because it means that I can get my tables charged. I almost got that guy. I think, oh, the slowdown from slow bullets. That's why I like chaos bullets more than an item like slow bullets because chaos, this is not the right way to go. Chaos bullets would freeze them instantly. It wouldn't just leave them half frozen where their attack pattern has kind of changed a little bit. Well, you know what, we've almost found the shop. We might as well keep exploring. It's gonna be like one room away probably. Oh, oh Jesus. Scare the shit out of me, little man. I guess the other reason why you wouldn't necessarily want to modify um, a player's coolness is because that would give them more drops. It would over, it would, it would make it so that coolness was such a, a top tier get that you would want players to, or players would want to focus on that as opposed to making them focus on it rather. For sure, we'll pick up a couple of bullet passives. We'll see what happens. Okay. Your idea is basically Daruma, Elder Blank, Golden Chaos Amulets, Blank Companion's Ring, Armor of Thorns. Seems like a pretty strong run. Daruma, Elder Blank, Gold Amulet, Chaos Amulet's a pretty strong combination. In fact, Daruma, Gold Amulet's a strong combination. Elder Blank, Gold Amulet's a strong combination. Seems a little too strong. Oh, flip it! Oh, God. Sometimes I don't act, I don't flip the table. <laughs> it's bad, you gotta flip the table if you put it down. I guess the other thing we could do is put the tables down, and then when we need to flip them, we can flip them. It's a dumb time to have to use a blank. But you know, I don't, I don't need a table to dodge this attack. I can get my tables charged up and ready to go. But I'll activate my tables now so I can kill these guys super quickly, you know. Bam! Table invincibility. Oh, there's a table in front of me. That table almost cost me the damage. So you know, we've ha we have tables on the ground. We have table charges coming my way. That was the worst dodge I could have made. Brilliant, that's, that's great, great, great dodge in there. Great skills. You pay the bills with that? Bam! Table invincibility, dog. Does the table flip invincibility last 
the same length of time, whether or not you're in or out of the um, time slowdown. Questions, questions. You like the idea of a daily challenge run? That's a, that's a, a wide area of effect to break bullets in on this fight, which I do love. I need my tables! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put a table right there. Um, random passives, random gun, random actives. Or just like a seeded run. You know, with a, with a proper seed system. But that's probably something that would be difficult to do. Especially difficult to mod in, because you'd have to know where all the seeds are in, uh are used in the game right now, which would be kind of hard to do, wouldn't it? Pew. Pew. I really like when the tables break. <laughs> you think having all the text but no device creates the up and down gameplay of super easy rooms? And, or challenging rooms without tables. Yeah, the thing is, is that you also have to consider the boss fights, because unless you have a very super special boss fight arena, boss fights will not have tables. But having portable table device means that you can create the tables. But it means that you have, a, you know, generally a pretty easy time on the rooms. But then it also means, you know, that if you don't have a table, you're a little bit underpowered. So there's, there's a lot of up and down, you know? I don't want the badge. I don't want the curse, honestly. Like, the dude isn't even that good of a familiar. Although getting a damage upgrade might be kind of nice. Yeah, getting a damage upgrade might be kind of nice. If he dies. And if he doesn't die, he's extra damage. I'll buy it. I'll buy the badge. Why am I breaking these chests? That's a good point. Well, I guess the answer was I was breaking the chests so I could get some extra HP from them, potentially, but... You know what, we'll, we'll buy the badge. We'll buy the badge. We're cursed, but again, room to room combat shouldn't be that much of a problem. And if I can get a damage upgrade from this... He always dies in the boss arena. I forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't think he would die. I thought he would, because I already fought the boss, he would he would live. That's really weird. Um, but yeah, maybe having a damage upgrade will help to offset the, the long time it takes to get the table device charged. I don't know. We are experimenting here. This is a Gungeon Experimentation Day. Yeah, that's true. I don't have to deal with his lackluster HP or, or DPS damage, Apache Thunder. That is true. And hopefully my damage is better. And hopefully it's noticeably better. I think it's like 20 or 25%. Probably pretty good. It's gonna take a while to get this portable device charged up, though. That's the problem. Whew! But when you get it, <laughs> it certainly helps out. You gotta go, buddy. Good lord. I hate that the, I don't see the tables. I'm not used to the items, so I'm not used to the, the table sprite. Whenever you get a chance to flip a table, you really do have to prioritize your target. <laughs> Who needs to die the most in this room? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? As you look towards the camera and point at the audience. Me? Who did that? Who did that? Um, I'm thinking of who shot Mr. Burns The Simpsons episode, I think. Chief Wiggum, oh no, was it Skinner? Someone said, oh, ho, oh, oh, I couldn't possibly figure this out. Could you? Points to the camera. He's like, why are you looking at me when you say that? It's been a long time since I watched The Simpsons. I should watch The Simpsons again. Shit, this is 
the problem. Actually, I think we did it. Maybe you could start the player with a bunch of uh, bullet passives or something. Make it easier for them to have interesting effects. Badum, badum, badum. Hello. Hello, you guys. Hey, how's it going? Dog. <laughs> well, I didn't think I was ignoring you yesterday, Void Vector. I just probably just missed a comment or a question that you asked. Will I play Dead Space 2 or 3? I think I'll definitely play 2 because, I mean, it's the logical place to go after after playing 1, and it's uh, also one of my favorite games, it and Dead Space. So yeah, I will play Dead Space 2. Dead Space 3? Uh, I actually, I don't think I have Dead Space 3. I'd have to pick it up, and I might want to find someone to play it with. Um, Chris might have a copy of it. I'd have to ask him. I think he, he said that he might, but he may have given it to his brother, so I might have to like ask him to help track it down or something, but um, if, yeah, I, I might want to play some Dead Space 3. It's not as good as Dead Space 1 or 2, but you know, it's still a game that we could play. I've seen a little bit of Dead Space 3, so it's not gonna be like completely blind or anything like that. If anyone's played Dead Space 3, I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> it's like, I'm not the biggest fan of it of how they changed. Kinda just like the style of the game, I guess. I don't mind that it's co-op, I just mind that for the game to kinda make sense, you kind of have to play it in co-op. Cause I know that there's multiple times in, times in the game where you and Carter, I believe is his name, um, are supposed to be together, but you're not if you're playing solo, because Carter is the, the second player character, right? So you'll be, like, investigating Necromorphs, and Carter will be next to you, and you'll, you'll be like, how the hell did you get here? But if you're in co-op, he's always with you. But they kind of, like, force him to be in the room with you when he's supposed to be there, when he has, like, a dialogue line or something like that. So you'll just be, like, in a room, you'll fought through a lot of Necromorphs to get where you're going, and then he's there. He's just... Hey, hey Isaac. Hey, how's it going? We've always been together, right? It's so freaking weird. I don't like it. I also don't like that, um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that between Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3, they massively increased the size of Ellie's breasts. <laughs> and they gave her like a very low cut top. It's just like, you, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to literally change the model to pander to a demographic. God, like they turned her into, they turned her into a freaking bimbo, like. And you know what? I also don't like that they basically made the the her plot line, her storyline is oh, Isaac, you know. <laughs> like there's this big kind of like love triangle plot going on there in that game. It's like, come on. Ellie would get past that. It's like whoever wrote Dead Space 3, it feels like they never played Dead Space. Or they don't understand video games. I hate it. I hate it so much. Of course, you know why they did that. They did that because um, their Dead Space 2 projections, they did not meet their projections. They wanted to sell more copies than they actually did. They were disappointed with the, uh, the release of Dead Space 2. So when they wanted a third game, they're like, hey, you gotta... 
We gotta make this the best selling game you, you possibly can. I don't care what you gotta do, do it. And so, you know, they probably brought in a, a manager or a designer or something and they're like, these are the changes you gotta make. You gotta give, you gotta give Ellie bigger breasts. And you know that there's some designer who, who was sitting in on that meeting and they're like, oh, come on, this is dead space. It's about stomping babies. No, 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 no more babies, only toddlers. I guess there are babies, they just explode. Actually, no, there aren't any babies or to toddlers in Dead Space 3, right? I think I think that's one thing. They they took all that stuff out, right? Because in Dead Space 2, there's there's babies. Visceral Games, I think, is the the studio that made one and two. Did they make three? You know that someone they brought in some, you know, third party person to manage the project. It's the only way those decisions could have been made. Unless they fired all the staff and hired new staff in <laughs> Visceral. Would have happened, probably. Yo, I'm loving this boss fight. Much easier, I think, than the uh, the dragon fight. Basically, I gave you Big Z. What? <laughs> Too many moms hated Dead Space 2, so they had to add boobies to Dead Space 3. <laughs> Booby equals good. More booby equals more good. <laughs> Hooray for boobies. I was too busy fighting the boss there to read. Damn it. Activate slow motion! What does the producer sound like? The penguin? <laughs> I get it. Batman! Which Batman? Batman Beyond? Batman Forever? Batman and Robin? Batman Just Batman? Which Batman had had Penguin in it? God, I can't remember. Is it the same one that had Mr. Freeze? Nice to meet you. Why did the, why did the table get placed there? <laughs> Game. I guess it placed it near me. It didn't place it, you know, exactly where I wanted the table to go. Ah, oh, shit. This phase is a lot more difficult than that first phase was. There we go. You think Joe has, what, Dead Space 3? I mean, if he's got a copy, I don't want to... The thing is, I don't want I don't want Joe to be like the guy I go to when I need a game. It's like, hey, Joe, I don't want to spend my own money. Do you have a copy of this game you can give me? Like, that's that's too... Like, that's, that's not something that I would do, you know? I'm not that kind of a guy. But Joe has already given me a couple of, of keys for things, and he, he even says, hey, I have a ton of keys for games I'm not going to play. You let me know and I'll give them to you. But I don't want to. I don't want to just be like, "Hey, Joe, give me keys." <laughs> it's a bit of a dick move, man. I hope that this breaks a lot of bullets when it when it goes. I broke a few bullets. Oh, oh God. How are we doing here? I think we got him. Bam! He has 30 pages of Hundle Bundle codes he has not used. Oh, that's a lot of codes. <laughs> oh. What have I started? All of Twitch chat is now t about titties. <laughs> Name's Tits McGee. I'm the new consultant. Whatever you think is wrong. More titties, that's what we need. Make it happen. Slams fist on table. Boobs jiggle. 
What was that game that had, like, really... Oh, it's like a... Game that sets you in, like, Greece or Grecian times, and it had, like, boob physics that really didn't work, so the, the breasts would just, like, jiggle around, like, completely unrealistically, like, delaying the character's movements. I don't know, it's really strange. Anyways, table only run, it works. It does work. I think that there should be some way that maybe I could get more table charges in a later game, but uh, it totally works. It even works with the starting pistol only. So, that challenge has been completed. Bam! Maybe I'll like edit in like a stamp that says complete or something on the on the screen for the YouTube video. But it's it's been done. It works. Completed. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon. And if you have a challenge run or a custom run that you want me to test out or play through, let me know in the comments or in Discord. 